What is going on, people? Okay, so Brandy got converted back yet. This is Johnny. We are playing the Magical Mountain Menagerie with the Dwarves and Rimhammer Magic. This dude, we are trying our best to convert. He's down at 80%, but he keeps like back converting <laughs> the people that are trying to convert him. <laughs> That's... Hopefully that doesn't, like, there's no critical chance and it, like, instant converts somebody because that'd be most frustrating. We are getting a bunch of our smoothing done. I'm holding off on this until we get these other rooms done that we've been working on for quite a while. And we do have, oh. Flashstorm caused cause the whole game to sh shake. Uh, there's Alex. We named the Basilisk after he earned it in a battle. What the hell are these things doing in here? I don't... Those Somebody literally took those over there and put them in there. We didn't have those laying around before. <laughs> so frustrating. Yes, the chaos meat is no more. We have some an inspiration here. We're working on using inspired creativity on this here dwarven horn that he's making. And we got a masterwork. And he is no longer inspired. Let's get this thing installed. I'd like to hear the Dwarven horn ringing throughout the hold. And it's one more form of recreation. Let's see what we get for these. I've, I'm going to have to take him off this task, but 13 steel. Totally worthless. All right, so work. Uh, that's Typhio. I can go back down to three. We need to get other shit done. I just was just trying to leverage a bit of an inspiration there. So what's the, nobody's set. There are constructors that should be getting around to this any minute. A skull, 98% good. All right, so this is a masterwork. Its value is 660 bucks. Be nice to just sell that damn thing. All right, hurry up. We need to convert this dude today. It says 100. Go get him. Go get him. All right, we still haven't. All right, 76. Yeah, you can be upset all day long, man. We're going to keep working on you there. That's going to take forever. I, if I had known that, I wouldn't have taken that pawn. He literally hates everybody in the colony. He has massive negative mood penalties. It's just not worth it. All right, so I need to take stock of what everybody's doing. And why? Oh, I was going to build some stuff storage back there so why don't we why don't I just lay some groundwork on that please don't make any chunks there'll be times in this game when you really want chunks because you're completely out of block especially when you start putting in floors but at this point I just no no don't do it and we can put some cheapy doors in there just to make it look pretty if you're standing inside of it. I want to build copy on that there you go so the storeroom will be back there for materials. And what's everybody doing? Moradrina is hauling wood. That dude's asleep, so I can't do squat with him. Well, she's hauling wood to uh, the doors. Okay, she's a constructor. This dude's asleep. Okay, good. Moradrina is actually going to talk to Bindor. He's down one more percent. So at that rate, like that dude's going to be in prison for years, right? That's not coming back anytime soon. Somebody must have this one reserved. Oh, there's an injured troll. Not injured very, very much. He got into it with a goat. I thought we were hunting those goats. We are, but I don't think anybody's set to hunt. All right, work, hunt. Yeah, because you're doing what? You're cooking? No, this dude should be hunting. Typhio is cooking. <laughs> okay, as was stated. All right, so we're... I was going to put a door here. I think it was smooth. And this, we clearly can't smooth unless I move that out of the way. I think they don't have access to get back there. Uh, maybe they do. Let's try it before I commit to that. Yeah, she can just stand on top of the forge and smooth the wall behind it. That's fantastic. These rooms are as yet unsmooth, but we've just been using them for storage. It's no big deal. Need to take a list of the hats and allow them on the doors. There's a griffin egg. What? They lay eggs? And I've allowed it to be spoiled by temperature. Well, that's interesting. and makes perfect sense. <laughs> uh, it doesn't tell me the... 
half cost for fly. A fertilized griffin, eh? If all goes well, I should... All right, so what we're going to do is make a spot for those. I said probably sat outside somewhere and froze. That's probably what happened. Otherwise, it would have been fine inside had we gotten around to actually bringing it in. Skull cannot convert. More Adrena. Don't strip. Them. Uh, if you strip them, you'd be a lot happier. I wonder if that would take away that resistance. I'm going to try that but not commit to so it. It's actually about the fact that his trait and his ideologian are uh, in common. They share this nudist thing, so that's why it's harder to sway him from that. Where are you going? You're going all the way over there to bring those chunks in. Why don't you do this? It seems more valuable at the moment. Uh, Typhio. He is working on whatever the hell. Are we still making dusters? Dear God, we are. <laughs> uh, I think I was just trying to get him skilled up enough to be able to make mechanical limbs. So I'd say that's still valuable. Assuming somebody comes along to buy dusters, which is questionable at best. And that's why he's set. An otter is hunting a full, huh? Well, it's hunting full one, which just went inside. So I think we'll be all right. There's some definite shit going down out here i've mostly gotten away without doing any hunting just by following the predations and scooping up the leavings so there's that <laughs> that's why it seems worthwhile did you get pretty badly injured now the troll should heal really fast i think they're huddling around here for the warmth that's entirely possible how are we doing for mushrooms? Do I need to wall this off yet and attempt to grow? Nah, so it's already almost the end of winter. I think we're doing fine. Might regret putting this wall here. I might end up wanting it down here later on, but at some point we're gonna do a ton of indoor growing. But well, that point is not right now. <laughs> Skull, Bindor, get up so we can talk to you about this whole, uh, why you wanna join our business the downside is these won't get dealt with until these two get brought in anyway why don't i cancel all this cancel all this cancel these and this and then these will get brought in and broken down and then we'll go back and endangered animals quagga interesting that and we are a menagerie. We already... Have, I think we can get positive relations with people if we tame those and release them. So let's do that. Somebody should bring these things in before too long. Hopefully they don't get eaten by some in the meantime. Brandy's working on converting this dude. 75%. So we are making some headway. As long as we continue to use this convert ability, I think we'll get there. I'm going to have to go back and look at the videos and see how long that dude's been in, imprisoned because holy shit, like it's so slow going. There's a dead Yumi that we took their clothes. Tamed. Release. Release into the wild to repopulate species means you will never see it again. The animal will walk off the map. Oh. Huh. So did I get any positive relations with anybody over that? I don't think I did. I think it failed. All right, well, that doesn't work right now. So is that a breeding pair? Of course it is. Drop that son of a bitch. You're... Nice work, Quagga. So if we had the menagerie set up and ready to go, I would have kept... That thing looks super cool. Look at that artwork. Somebody's on top of their Shiza with that. Get it. We're going to hunt this one out too. Tame my ass. So the thing is, there's factions hard-coded in that quest result. Which I think is coming from whatever mod is adding these. Probably vanilla expanded. Nice. And uh, they've hard-coded those factions in there. Not considered the fact that... Some schmuck like me might take those factions out of the mod. I actually want to hunt this other one while I'm standing over here. I don't think it said they would 
attack. 10%. They're going to attack. That's almost certainty. Why didn't it attack me last time? <laughs> Damn thing might be really fast, too. This could end very poorly. Fortunately, she's a good shot. All right, he's coming out. I don't want to get trapped in that hallway with it. it. Didn't go mad, though. So it's okay. Come over here more. Pow. Schmuck it. She's an amazing shot, by the way. No. Maybe it's the gun. What are you firing? A masterwork. That's probably, probably part of what's going on here. It's not her. It's the rifle. Nice. All right. So finish the quagga off and we will carry. Oh, there's too many carcasses laying around out here still. That's, uh, that's me being a moron. All right. You undraft. Haul the quagga. Somebody else haul this quagga. There you go. Endangered quagga food. <laughs> we are such horrible people. Go convert that dude right now. He likes this guy better. I don't know if we get more positive results if we do it that way. 74. We're literally just fighting against his own strong belief in this issue. Plus five per day. Mood. Change rate based on mood. Mood 20% plus one per day. Mood 80%. Per we have to keep this dude crabby. That's why we have to keep his clothes on. Needs. What else can I do to we need to take a bunch of stuff out of this prison cell? Stop feeding him fine meals would be nice. Uh, let's see. Do we have a ton of that pemmican yet? Yeah, we do. All right, prisoner. Uh, maybe that's under a sign. Food, food. I don't know. Let's do simple. That should allow pemmican close. Can I change his food restrictions then? Prisoner, maybe I can't. I'm sure you can, right? Like if you only want to feed your prisoners certain things. Lavish, simple, it was that easy. All right, that should chill his mood out a bit. <laughs> Make him a little more. What in the heck was that? Something just got mauled somewhere, I don't know where. Ah, there it is. These trolls can really dish it out too. They heal fast enough. Skull, healing light, illuminate the edifice booster. Okay, well he's good, he can't cast anything. That dude's asleep. All right, we are getting there. All right, so we're gonna start then by bringing all these, not those down there, just these in here, in here. And then this room is fully smoothed, this room is fully smooth. So let's go ahead and make our other next bedroom. We don't have an area that's four wide. <laughs> to put this with two things next to it. So I guess it's just getting a single nightstand. And what else do we keep in there? We usually put heat, light. That, that should be it. We should be set. I think it's going to be bigger than the rest, so it should still be a decent quality bedroom. It's going to be a hassle walking down that hallway all the time for somebody. <laughs> Temperatures are fine. Is it warming up outside? No, it is the end of winter though, so it won't be long. We're still supposedly hunting this dude. Typhoon's gotta be cooking. Yeah, he's playing dice. I haven't heard anybody tooting the horn here. Oh. Interesting, I can start a leader speech. Haven't done that yet. Maybe it's time, we only have five pawns. I don't think it's time for that. All right, let's see, needs. I do want to make sure he doesn't hit a mental break. All right, well that reduced it somewhat. And he's at 86%. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna just let it go for a little bit here until something exciting happens. It's gonna be the same shit over and over. I'm gonna bring these ones in too since they're inside. Another mining area. <laughs> What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some RimWorld. This is the Magical Mountain Menagerie with the Magical Dwarfs and those Slayers that you cannot convert for the life of you. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, that popped off the same moment this dude showed up. That threw me off my game for a minute. Okay, it's a Shaman Merchant. Uh, this is clearly some people with magic over here. And uh, let's send more Adrena, who is, where are you? Are you still outside the hall? No, we're headed outside. 
come over here and trade with them. The skull is about to be able to convert. We need to do this every time on the time that we can do it. He will never do cleaning though, so that's all right. There's a hung magical delivery, you say. Oh, chocolate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, what do you lot have? You have potions of healing, wand of resurrections. What will you buy? Components, fungal meds, herbal meds, regular meds, cigarettes, and bro. I'm gonna sell this at KT. Ambrosia will keep plasteel. We, yeah, we could, so we don't really have anything to sell. <laughs> Food or meds, we're not gonna sell that. Dwarven ale, we only have one left since I've opened it up now for recreational use. Cigarettes, same thing. Those are gonna be recreational. We're not gonna sell those. Okay, I don't think we can do much. What is this? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, um, that's pretty shitty. We could, we can't even afford any of this stuff. I, a love potion would be nice to force a relationship. It's just not meant to happen right now. There's gonna be some silver laying somewhere out there. I don't know where it went. Maybe she grabbed it, but not too likely. You know how that goes. Can you clean in here? Yeah, and wake the dude up. 10 meals, uh, spring has begun, excellent. So hospital is still like the main priority even though <laughs> it's pretty slow going. This is four wide, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna do it, don't do it, don't do it. Hey, we are getting the cleaning done by Branny, so he must have finally run out of stuff to do. I, might, I think I'm going to exclude the animals from this side over here. Uh, so that's going to be outside. I don't want to be constantly cleaning this hallway. And I don't want them eating our mushrooms when the time comes. Even though we are feeding them that. Let's go ahead and suspend the creation. Uh, I better wait. I don't know how long it's going to take them to eat all that. So we ended up with a fair amount of hay yet, which is indicative of the fact that we've planted too much. So let's, sh come on you. Let's shrink this zone way down and let's make another zone. We need cotton to make some things for our ideologian and also later on banners and stuff for the dwarfs. So let's go ahead and plant some cotton when you can't. Still haven't bonded with this, but I don't really need to. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I was doing it in my other playthrough and wasn't overly enthused with what it did and how it worked. So, uh, tribes people are leaving. That's fine. So this dude's situation is now at 69%. Very slowly, but very surely we are getting there. And again, top priority, get ourselves a hospital. Mayor one has given birth. Of course you have. I mean, at some point, there'll be an awesome mountain menagerie over here somewhere with rooms for these animals. They'll have their own little cool rooms. I think all this does is then makes it so I have to constantly be pruning it. And But we do get some critters out of it, so it's not going to do that. I don't care. Uh, maybe later on, because we do. this is all about getting critters, so I think it makes perfect sense at some point. I have other Garlon seeds. We have two of them. Why don't we plant a few more? Does it? Can I plant one next to the other? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't seem to care. If I do this though, he can never really build over here. All right, we'll put one over there, and then we'll pop one. So I guess they have some kind of radius, right? I don't know. That might just be from buildings. Can we de destroy these cars, maybe? <laughs> it would be nice if we could, but we can't, so I guess it just is what it is. Oh, man. Yeah, I wouldn't have taken that pawn. So here's what's going to happen. So this dude was originally a part of what faction? Can I, I don't think I can even see that. We have to watch out. So if a Slayer comes in with tribal post Sunniism, you're not going to be able to recruit him without going through this whole process. And it's because... Okay, well, this guy's iron-willed, so it wouldn't be as slow if he wasn't iron-willed. But it's because he's a nudist, and this ideologian supports nudism. So that's what's going on there. How many are we doing for wood? We have about 2,000. 
That's good. Why don't we get this stuff dragged out of here and finally get this shit put away? And I can probably expand the zone up through here for now. It's, we're going to be walking on it, but that's okay. Well, cheers to the patrons. Alexander, Viking, Brandon, Arkenix, Carrie, Mahoney, Corneo, Boder, Dirtle, Dave, Dimitri, Rurika, Ginger, Vitus, Josie, Genghis, Keith, Patrick, Johnson, Private, Resock, Sebastian, Schaefer, Shiggy, Thomas, Kane, Natasio, Tyrex, Tafios, David, Benjamin D., all the patrons get to play the new mods early. There's a beta release, Skaven, that I'm sure some of them have been having some fun with. Let's get that put in. Just certainly fell by one freaking percent. And uh, yeah, I just added all the furniture, other than the bedroom furniture, I'm still working on those images, but to the Skaven mod. So progress is being made slowly but surely. My workload has increased dramatically for my business that I own and operate. So that's been really taking some time, sadly, away from fun shit like making mods. <laughs> that's going to happen when something keeps the bills paid so anyways that's probably even still too much but I oh, oh there's that silver I was looking for before I guess we are getting more and more critters though at some point we're gonna go on a critter selling spree I might just ignore this and see what happens the griffin can probably deal with that right uh, how about we do this it is I don't think any of my animals are out there how are we doing for meat we're doing okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I just want to take a take stock of what everybody's working on before. There's no construction tasks left, so I would say that would make it time to work on this room. Um, we'll do this. Do this. That was in a, that was a misclick. The game hiccups. I swear to God, every time I'm doing something like that, it hiccups, bones me up. And this we need to deconstruct on. And then it's going to be a massive amount of smoothing for the umpteenth time. But as we'll finally get this hallway done, I'll also put some more proper structures in here. Probably some Dowie double doors in there. But that should keep us busy for the next handful of, not a handful, a couple episodes. Uh, while I go and work on recruiting this dude. Okay, so he's converted back against whoever was in there trying to convert him again. It's pretty entertaining to see that. At least it's not all one-sided. But fortunately... I have an issue. What is that noise? Like, oh, it's a pissed off squirrel. All right, well, please leave a like. Ooh, look at that. That is glorious. I get somebody to go deal with that. Hey, Typhio, you have a crossbow. More Adrena. You're going to eat. I'm going to take her out there and you come over here. Let's allow this door. I'm just going to tell you to kill the squirrel. Take the. Take the pickaxe and smack the squirrel with it. And then we will go claim those other critters. And let's not let this get... And... Nah! <laughs> take that, you son of a bitch. Alright, you over here. We're going to take that troll out right away. Assuming it's not going to go down on its own. Death in four hours. I think we'll let it go. I don't want to risk her. Those things are pretty tough in combat, so... She could easily get moited. All right, well, anyways, that's it, guys. I'll see you next time.